Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Bloody Jacob here to bring you a video talking about my thoughts on the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice trailer that came out of Comic Con. And, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty hyped for the movie. Uh, I'm a huge Batman fan. I have been since I was a little kid. Um, I enjoyed the 90s animated series. I love the Arkham games now, nowadays. Uh, you know, just, I have love, you know, I love Kevin Conroy as the voice, of course. It'd be great if they got an actor to play Batman and just had, like, Kevin Conroy, like, dub over his voice or something like that. That'd be cool. But, anyway, um, and, uh, before we really get into the trailer, I did want to say that I actually did like Man of Steel quite a bit. I know some people seem to have issues with the, with the destruction and, you know, Superman killing Zod and stuff like that, but I never did. I understood it all. Um... You know, Zack Snyder explained the destruction. I like how they're tying it into this movie. I, I believe in it personally. And uh, with Zod, you know, being killed the way he was at the end of Man of Steel, I think it was pretty plausible. I understood it. I understood why Superman obviously had to do that. And for people saying, oh, yeah, Superman never kills, yes, he does. Read a comic book. And even with this, it was uh, pretty necessary in that situation. But anyway, this isn't a video talking about Man of Steel. Or addressing people's problems with that. It's talking about how we're finally getting this uh, big, probably one of the biggest uh, live action crossovers in film history, really, if not the biggest, between Batman and Superman. And uh, with regards to Ben Affleck playing Bruce Wayne and Batman, uh, I'm pretty hyped about it, to be honest. Uh, I know some people are a little bit against it at first, some still are, but I've noticed people are starting to get a little bit more optimistic about it. And uh, with me, uh, I'm actually, I actually like Ben Affleck quite a bit. I think he's a very good actor. Um, I actually did kind of like Daredevil. <laughs> um, but besides that, you know, I liked him in a lot of his other movies, like, you know, The Town and stuff like that. I even liked his part in um, Good Will Hunting. So I know he's a very good actor, so I feel like he has the acting chops to pull off the role. And, uh, you know, this obviously is going to be a very different version of Batman compared to uh, the Christopher Nolan, Christian Bale stuff. But I like how they're still having a darker psychological side to the character in this as well from the looks of it. And I like, I, I think they're doing a good job uh, illustrating that this Batman's like at a later point in his career. I like how they're doing that. And, uh, you know, the trailer sort of shows, uh, of course, we've already divided on how they view Superman. Some see him, well, everyone kind of sees him as a god. But some think, oh yeah, he has all this power, you know, why should he get, you know, why... What should we do about that? You know, what should we should we try to get him to do something we want with it, or should we leave it in his hands? Can we trust him by doing that? And of course, you know, debate's gonna come up here you know, naturally. Um, but of course, there's still some that believe in him fully, and you know, see him as a savior that he is. But uh, yeah, and of course, we see that they're connecting uh, Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne to Man of Steel because we see in the early part of the trailer that. Bruce Wayne was apparently in Metropolis at the time of the Zod and Superman fight in Man of Steel. We see that he is likely talking to someone on the phone, maybe someone from his company. People are saying it's a Wayne company building, and which I find to be pretty plausible. That's probably one of the most likely things. So we see why Batman might have like a personal grudge against Superman at that point. And, uh, you know, it's Batman, you know, if he hears about this, like, God, like, being going around, you know, he'd want to look into it. So, both ways it makes sense, so I like the setup for it. And, of course, it is, uh, taking some inspiration, at least, from, you know, the Dark Knight Returns storyline. But, of course, making it into its own version, changing things, and making it into its own, like I said. And, but, yeah, all of the trailer, I have to say, it's, it's pretty epic. One of the best trailers I've ever seen of any movie, no question. Um... Yeah, sorry, like even fixing my hair. Um, like I love the suit they have for Batman in the movie. Uh, of course, the armored one that he's, where he's taking on Superman, but also I, the one I really like is the regular costume he has. I think it's definitely the most comic book accurate one we've ever had in a movie before. So I'm very happy about that. And the action itself looks good, even if a lot of it's all CGI and stuff. But really, you can't you kind of expect that at this point. Come on. And, uh, of course, I do still like Henry Cavill as Superman. I think he did a great job in Man of Steel, and I think he is the best uh, actor we've had as Superman in history, to me personally, anyway. So it looks like he's keeping up that same uh, consistency with this movie. 
Amy Adams is in there too. We also see uh, an appearance from Gail Gadot or Gadot. I, I don't know. I pronounce names very well. <laughs> As uh, Wonder Woman, Diana, of course. I just hope she's not in the movie too much because I really would like it to keep focused on Batman and Superman specifically. Even though I know, as Henry Cavill himself said, that uh, you know it's an introduction to Batman, but it's also you know basically a prologue to the Justice League. So I understand Wonder Woman's involvement, and in I just hope she's not like a huge, huge focus in the movie. But Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, uh, you know, I'm a little bit skeptical about it. I know she's training. I know she's in shape. She could probably kick my ass. I'm aware of that. Um, but you know, still, I'll give her a chance. I'll let you know, let her. I'll let her scenes uh, speak for themselves. She'll probably do fine. I imagine she won't be bad or anything. I don't expect her to do terrible. Um, but the one I'm, I am kind of concerned about is uh, Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. I've talked about that in my videos in the past. Um, now that Jesse Eisenberg's a bad actor or anything, i never seen The Social Network, but I did hear good things about him and that. And I loved him in Zombieland, of course, but... I don't know, I just don't feel like it, he's right for the role of Lex Luthor, you know, I prefer Lex Luthor to be a little bit older, um, even though I know it never was going to happen, I feel like Ryan Cranston would have been a perfect fit for it, you know, because he has that menace about him, and he only looks imposing, and he can also be arrogant, too. And uh, Eisenberg can be arrogant, but I don't really feel any intimidation from him whatsoever, I just feel like he's like a rich punk kid, you know, or something like that with keys to the amusement park, if you know what that means. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe he'll be alright. I think he'll be alright, I don't think he'll be bad, but uh, I think he'll definitely be one of the lesser parts of the movie. That's what, what I expect, anyway, I'll give it a chance, though. But I don't think anything will really make this movie bad. I don't think anything's really going to bring the whole movie down. This All of this just turns out to completely suck out from out of nowhere, I don't know. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, like, all the action in it looks good, uh, you know, obviously Superman and Batman are, probably won't like each other by the end of the movie, but I think they'll obviously come to some kind of understanding, which, of course, leads into the Justice League, and so I'm excited to see the psychology with all of that, of course, the contrast about how they handle things differently and stuff like that it should be re very, very good, and, uh, yeah, so it's all, oh, yeah, and, uh, Irons as, uh, Alfred. Yeah, I think that's his name. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, Jeremy Irons. I haven't seen him in any movies. I, I haven't seen as many movies as I like to put on. And uh, But yeah, I have heard good things about him as an actor. It looks like he, he'll be a solid fit for Alfred. Though I don't think he'll top Michael Caine in the role. But I think he'll do just fine with it. And uh, yeah, so those are really my thoughts on the trailer. I didn't get too specific about it. But I also did like the references to... Uh, the Joker in the movie, you know, with the spray pan on the newspaper saying how Batman let his people die, and, you know, in that building that came down the Superman Zod fight, and the spray pan the Robin costume, which, which is a reference to, you know, the Death in the Family storyline. I like how, you know, like I said, it illustrates that Batman, you know, is at a later point in his career because of all this has already happened. And, of course, the thing about know, one of the Robins being killed by the Joker, yeah, you know, definitely gives him some weight to his character. But, uh, yeah, so overall, I really love the trailer. Um, check it out for yourselves. I'll try to post a link to it in the description, but really, you've probably seen it by now, seriously, and all you have to do is type in, you know, Batman v Superman Donald Justice trailer on YouTube, and there you go. Top result. But, uh, yeah, so I'll catch you guys next time. Most likely, I'll be doing a video talking about the Suicide Squad trailer they released. And, uh, yeah, so I'll catch you guys next time. And uh, peace. Very excited for the movie.